4.5 million people in the U.S. are on probation or parole supervision, double the number of people behind bars. If this population were its own city, it'd be the second largest in the country. Probation and parole are meant to help people avoid crime and succeed in the community while lowering prison populations. But new data reveals a harsh reality. 45% of state prison admissions stem from probation and parole violations, either for new crimes or breaking supervision rules. These violations fill up prisons and cost states more than $9 billion in taxpayer dollars annually. Failed drug tests, missed appointments, and other technical violations account for nearly one quarter of all state prison admissions. That costs states $2.8 billion each year. This pattern of failure contributes to a harmful cycle of recidivism. But states can break the cycle by prioritizing supervision resources for people who are most likely to reoffend, implementing cost-effective responses to technical violations, and incentivizing all involved to make real change. How do probation and parole impact your state? Find out online.